everyone. All right, hello friends. Uh, today is hello. our cooking lesson with Rita. So we are gonna let Miss Rita take it away. Good morning, everyone. Nice to have you back again. Today we're going to make instant pudding. At the grocery store, you guys can choose with, with an adult. Today we have chocolate, we have banana, and lemon. So it's your choice. I think today we're going to do banana. So you'll need your instant pudding little packets and milk. You can have your regular cow milk and or there's almond milk and different types for those who don't want it or don't like it. But today we are going to use your regular milk. So we'll have a mixing bowl that can be a plastic that's probably the safest, and a measuring cup. And to mix it, you can use a, a, um, a mixer that you have to plug in, but there's also a little whisk that you can use. And I like these because they're kind of thick to hold put in your hand, so those work well. And or a good old fork. Back in the day, we didn't have all these fancy things, and a fork worked just well. So we're going to use the banana. We're going to go ahead and pour in the mix. Pour in the powder. Oh, I'm sorry. I did wash my hands, but I'm making sure all of you don't forget to wash your hands. Sorry, my hands were clean. Where's, there's the banana. And it is asking to put Two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. Leave him alone there. He's fine. There's one. So one cup. Let's pour it into the powder mix that's already in the bowl. And it's asking for two. So one more cup of milk. Pour it in. And it might be a good idea to also have napkins or paper towels close by in case we have a spill. Wouldn't hurt. Okay. I'm going to get a little closer. Let's see here. In the bowl. Oh, can't see that well. But don't want to spill the contents in here. Liquid, okay. We're going to use the whisk because I like it. It's easier to hold in your hand. It's a little thicker. But again, you can use your fork or the hand mixer. So let's give it a shot. And it says, put in mix two cups. Whisk for two minutes, pudding will be soft in five minutes. So we're gonna have to keep whisking it, says for about five minutes. So until it gets nice and thick, we will continue. And then after it thickens, it says to refrigerate for two hours, because you want it nice and cold when you're gonna be eating it or to serve to your friends or your household. Hey guys, it's asked, we just have to continue till it thickens. Oh, here's a tip. On the packaging it says, note, pudding will not set if it's made with, uh-oh, dairy milk. Non-dairy, it's a good thing we have whole milk. Okay, so if you have non-dairy milk, it's not going to thicken. Sorry about that, guys. That's a good tip. I should have caught that at the beginning. So, and it also says it makes, has four servings. We could probably get six if we wanted to share with a few others. So we'll just 
have smaller portions and that's okay too. I wish I could show you a little better how it's getting thick, but it says for five minutes. Shall we continue or should we do um, TV style? Let me turn it, let me plug the um, hand mixer in guys and see what happens. It's getting thicker. Let me try, it's probably gonna make some noise, but let me give it a shot. And remember, always have an adult with you so you can prepare your ingredients. And I'm gonna use the uh, mixer for maybe one minute. Let's take a look here. Okay, guys, remember there's lots of flavoring that come when you go to the store. Okay, guys, look, it's getting thicker, but you can still see it's kind of runny. When you do it by hand, it takes a little while. It says five minutes, but let's see what happens when I do this. Do it for one minute, so we'll count to 60. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, it did. It got thicker. So it's up to you what um, options you have at home, or you can share with your brother and sister or other adults where everybody takes turns and does a few squirrels in here. So thick, but it'll get thicker as it sets in the refrigerator for an hour or two. So we chose the banana. There's lots of different flavors in the grocery store. You guys can vote or decide with your household or whoever you're going to share with. You can put the whole bowl into the refrigerator to set, or you can go ahead and serve others. Say maybe you're going to have a birthday party or just have some friends over. You can do a little fancy glass or the small little cups, easier to hold. Or those of us who want a larger portion, we can use the bigger cup. So those are your options. And if you want to do it that way, okay, this is kind of like a spatula here. You can just kind of scoop it into your cup, depending on which cup you'd like, or the smaller one. You can do it that way, okay. depending how fancy you want to be. Or you can put them in plastic cups and just dispose of them after you do that, after you eat. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. And also the bowl to let it set. That's it, we just get to clean up the mess later. Remember when you cook, you always have to clean up your mess. We won't leave it for mom or dad or anyone else to clean up. We have to clean up after ourselves. Okay guys, thank you for coming. See you next time, enjoy. Thank you, Thank you. Marita. That was awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to stop recording because we only want to post the cooking lesson from uh, Miss Rita. But before I stop recording, Brandy is showing us um, the visuals of the pudding that Miss Rita was offering, the lemon, chocolate, and banana. And I believe mm -hmm. Rita picked the banana. <laughs> um, yes. I love banana uh, pudding. It is delicious, especially mm -hmm. when you add in some vanilla wafers and some cream mm -hmm. and you make like a, uh, what do you call that? Banana, like the... Split. Banana, like the banana cream? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, like the banana... It's like multiple layers 
I mean, I feel like they call it banana pudding, but it has extra stuff in it. It has like- Yeah, because you're right. It has the vanilla wafers. That's yeah. like, I, I, I go way back with vanilla wafers and banana pudding. Come on. Oh, good. <laughs> That's um, like legit right there. So so <laughs> Great as, choice in flavor, Rita. <laughs> yes, excellent choice. So Miss Rita made the pudding. And then even on top of that, guys, you can make something else with that banana pudding. You can crunch up yes. some vanilla wafers. You can whip mm -hmm. up some fresh cream and you can make like a trifle where you layer all of those delicious treats into one cup like Miss Rita showed us and mm -hmm. you can have multiple desserts. We're big fans of desserts here at Mark Twain, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we might be a lot of dessert for you. Um, There's always a good time for dessert. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> next week we might be making those grilled cheese sandwiches that we talked about but again our team will collaborate on what we would like to cook next. But um, you want to do the survey question, Miss Jenny? I'll record if you order who likes lemon, who likes banana, who likes chocolate. We can see who's their, what their favorite pudding no. is. I'm sorry, the iPad died, you guys, so I don't have the document camera. No, that's okay. We can, uh, if all of our friends want to unmute or um, whoever unmutes, we can ask them their flavor, uh, their flavor choices. Kevin, do you want to help us first, buddy? <laughs> Or maybe Chris. Chris, do you want to help us first, bud? There you go. Okay, so Chris is ready. And then Peter and Josie. And I know Andrea will be ready momentarily. So we'll have Chris go first. All right, Chris. Do you like lemon, chocolate, or banana? Mm. I'm thinking, are you a chocolate guy? Yeah, I knew okay. it. <laughs> We're oh, Chris is chocolate. <laughs> All right, done. Next. All right. All right. Miss Josie. Uh, Brandy, you might have to help us with Miss Josie's uh, flavor uh, choice here because I know um, you guys have, uh, you always have some yummy treats for Josie here. So, Josie, do you like lemon, chocolate, or banana? Let's see. She didn't look up for any of them. I'm thinking Josie doesn't like any of those flavors. <laughs> Josie usually does, likes the uh, applesauce because she does the non-dairy, but um, she likes fruity flavors of applesauce. So I would either go with lemon or banana, one of the two. Uh, Josie, Josie girl, do you like banana? I don't think she likes any of those flavors because she'll look at the screen when she wants to answer yes to us. Okay, let's well, move on to the next person, yeah. no problem. All right, Petey Poo, let's see, big guy. Julie, you might have to help us. I see Petey looking. All right, Peter, do you like lemon is number one, chocolate is number two, and banana is number three? What do you think, Petey? Do you like number one, lemon? No. I don't think he likes lemon, huh, Julie? No, he doesn't like lemon. No. I have seen him eat number two, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's what he likes. He likes chocolate. All, All right, right. Katie, we're going with number two, chocolate. <laughs> All right, Kevin, are you ready, big man? Oh, Kevin's taking a short nap. We'll get back to him. Okay, Miss Andrea. All right, girl, you ready? There's no. one lemon. Oh, you're up, Kevin? I'll be right back, buddy. We're going to ask Andrea real quick, okay? All right, so Andrea, number one is lemon. Nah. <laughs> number two is chocolate. Ah, maybe. And number three is banana. Hmm. Ooh, I'm thinking number three, <laughs> banana. Yeah? <laughs> Should we go with number three, girl? Yeah? I saw you lift your arms up. All right. Kevin, are you ready, big man? <laughs> are you ready, Kevin? Yes? Okay, I'm going to ask, and you just answer if you're ready. <laughs> All right. So, Kevin, do you like lemon? Chocolate? Chocolate. Oh, yeah. All right. Good call, buddy. Chocolate. Okay. So let's see. Um, Priscilla, sweet girl, do you want to answer? All right. So Priscilla, do you like lemon? No, she said no. Do you like chocolate? 
or banana? Ah, I'm thinking no on banana. She turned away. What do you think? Number two, chocolate, Priscilla? Do you like chocolate, sweet girl? Yeah, maybe. I'm thinking chocolate. She looked the most interested in chocolate. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, so I think Eduardo, Cecile, and Jason just stepped away for a moment. Let's ask some of our staff. Let's get some variety in here. Miss Lydia, do you like lemon chocolate or banana? Um, I don't like pudding, sorry. <laughs> it's what dairy, I don't like milk. Like? <laughs> I don't like, but if, if I had to have the fruit, I will have banana. Okay, awesome. So that is, uh, so Miss Lydia doesn't eat pudding, guys, but she still likes a certain flavor profile. So she picked banana. All right, Mr. Ken, what do you like? I am also not a pudding fan, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay i think we outgrow our pudding stage at some point but do you have a flavor you like uh i'm a fan of all three. Oh, ooh, i like that answer that's a i'm gonna have to go with ken i'm a fan of all three as well and i like each i actually like pudding because i just like all dessert and anything i could add into the pudding is super awesome uh but all of those flavors i like all those flavors now um, I didn't used to like all those flavors until I had a baby. And after, I mean, he's not a baby anymore, guys, but really uh, that helped me uh, expand my palate. Because <laughs> apparently when you're pregnant, you're just hungry. <laughs> so I had to try uh, multiple foods. Um, all right, Miss Julie, what is your flavor, uh, flavor choice? You're on chocolate. mute, babe. Oh, chocolate. Okay, yeah, I've seen Miss Julie uh, have chocolate before. Actually, you only tend to want to have the chocolate when we yeah, do. Yeah, I only like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Polly, um, what is your flavor choice? I also do not like pudding. <laughs> oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. Okay. I also do not like pudding. But if I had to choose one, I would go with lemon. Oh. Sorry, guys. I had the echo is strong between Polly uh, and I have social distance, but we are in the same room. Ooh, you got to mute yourself now, bro. Hey, Jenna, I know that uh, Jason likes chocolate because we went to Sam's Club and we bought that layered pudding thing, Polly, you remember, for Halloween? It had the layers. Oh, and, uh, okay. There's a picture of, uh, I have it somewhere, a picture of Ken and Jason eating pudding. Oh, okay, actually, so Jason, we're going to mark it for you, you, Jason. Don't it's a great picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put Jason down for chocolate. <laughs> and uh, Miss Jamie, uh, Miss Lydia, Miss Julie can help me answer for tin, but I'm going to say tin would eat all of those flavors. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I don't think tin is picky. <laughs> he is definitely our guy who will uh, try new things now, which is so awesome. Uh, when Tin first joined us, he was very particular about what he liked. Um, but through going out uh, on our CBIs, we introduced Tin to some new stuff, hopefully. And uh, he's really expanding his palate now. So we're going to say Tin likes all of those. And then Brandy, I think you're, oh, we didn't ask Miss Rita, the chef, which one she prefers. <laughs> I like dessert, so I like them all. It doesn't matter. I like dessert. Good answer. Good answer. And then Brandy, what is your preference? Uh, I too don't eat pudding, uh, but I do Wrong like you guys. No, no, no. But I do like a good dirt cake around Halloween. We always make dirt okay. cakes with the Oreos and the Oreo yes. worms. Yes. I will uh -huh. eat that. So okay. I guess I'll, I'd, I'd go with chocolate because that, I like the dirt cake. So yes, I'm yes, going yes. chocolate. <laughs> All right, my friends, you guys did a terrific job. Thank you for joining us for our cooking with Miss Rita today. Um, next week, another one of us uh, will cook for you again. Um, we're going to do our cooking lessons on Tuesdays. Um, so uh, every Tuesday, we will, uh, we will do this um, cooking lesson after our ELA lesson and our math lesson. All right, guys, let's say goodbye to everybody. And I'm going to stop recording in three, two, one.